What did God say? He said he'd renew my youth as an eagle. That's exactly. He said, don't forget my benefit. <laughs> he said it. He said it. And he's not a God that he'll lie. That's right. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Well, this week was a lot of fun. I sat down with my 91-year-old grandma on her front porch in Arkansas and just asked her for some tips to live a successful life. Now, you can't ask someone for tips about success unless they've demonstrated success, right? Well, you would never believe this woman is in her 90s. Her mind is sharp. Her memory is incredible. She still drives three hours to visit us. She recently went to Hawaii on vacation with the whole family. She reads like a book a week or more, and she can work a puzzle faster than you can imagine. <laughs> and she's full of vision. That's the thing. She has plans to build a bunch of houses and then rent them out at 91. So let's hear from Grandma Creech and let it inspire you to never look at the years you've lost. Let's look at the years you've got left and live your dreams. So let's get right into her first tip for a successful life. How do you feel about the power of giving? Oh, I think it's awesome. It's seed. When you're a farmer, nothing comes up without seed. Now I can want, I can have a garden back there big as this house, the big as this here yeah. yard. But if I don't go out there and cultivate it and plant it and put seed in the ground, there ain't nothing gonna come up. Right. And if you put it in the ground and you don't ever till it or you don't ever fertilize it, it'll come up and weeds will come. And it's according to the, the ground. If it's real good ground, you might get 60-fold. But if it's poor ground, you may not even get 30-fold. You have to, to fertilize, till it, tend to it. And that's with the words of your mouth. Yes. Your words, your that's words. Right. is everything and giving. How are you going to get money if you don't give seed? Right. And you and Grandpa are the biggest givers. You always have been. You've always blessed. We loved it. I mean, you truly live to give. See, this is, that's one of the keys, too. A lot of people get the word in the churches, yeah. but they don't have the heart of, of giving it without grudging. Yeah. He said give it without being it being necessary or if you didn't want to give it. Right. You didn't want to give it. You're giving it because you feel like you have to because they might think you're terrible if you don't give. Mm -hmm. Then you might as well keep your money in your pocket because you're right. not going to get a reward in heaven. Right. Right. So so you oh, and Grandpa... We loved it. We loved doing for people even now. Well, you started giving when you didn't I have much. yesterday and mowed her front yard. Really? She's gone. 91, going and mowing the neighbor's lawn. So tip number one is giving sets you up to be blessed. You know, the people who succeed at reaching their highest dreams are those who have tapped into this hidden key known as the power of giving, right? You know, many people who have a dream, especially a financial dream, they think it's best to hold tight to what they have, but in reality, it's wise to release it, to give it, to sow it. You know, when you give your finances to help someone else, you're opening the door for God to give you back more. It's a law. You know, it's called the law of sowing and reaping. And you know, scripture even says it's possible to give and yet become richer. So let's go back to my grandma to hear her second tip for a successful life. Everybody wants to know this question. What is your secret to the fountain of youth? How do you look so young and act so young and you're still so sharp and you wear skinny jeans? It's because <laughs> I have got that scripture. Then he'll renew 103 Psalms. He said, forget not your benefit. And it's real in my heart if, for me not to forget what God has prepared for all of us. Yeah. You can have your youth renewed if you'll confess God's word. Yes. It's now, let me just say, I was declaring that God renews my youth and my face broke out in pimples like a teenager. 
Tip number two, confess God's word. You know, if you've heard me before, you know I'm passionate about speaking to your dreams. Why? Because your words are so powerful. Your words are a tool to help you achieve your dreams. You know, throughout God's word, we see this powerful principle that if you wanna know where your life is headed, listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And here's the thing, nobody can do this for you. So you must give yourself a pep talk to achieve your dreams. You know, I always say when you change what you're saying, you'll change what you're seeing, right? You know, I've done this to see my books in bookstores, to share the stage with some of my heroes, to pay off debts, to lose weight, and to even see my marriage restored. And you can too. And you know, I think so many times we know that making positive declarations is important and speaking God's word is vital but we don't know where to start and we're not real sure what to declare, so we just don't do it. So this week, I wanna give you a cheat sheet. I put together my family declarations and scriptures from my book, Pep Talk, as a free download for you to help you get started today. So you're not overwhelmed, you have a cheat sheet. Now all you have to do is click the link in the description to get that free list of declarations and scriptures from God's Word to begin speaking them out right now. Now I hope that's a blessing to you today. Now before I cut to Grandma giving her third tip, let me tell you what it is, and then I wanna share her bonus tip at the end. So hang on, because I want you to hear her bonus tip. But Grandma Creech's third tip for living a successful life is this, never stop dreaming. Isn't that awesome? You know, I couldn't even get Grandma to just say her tip without explaining her dreams. So she started out telling me all these building projects she has, you know, in her mind and how she just bought six acres of land to start pursuing her dream. So just listen to this and let it inspire you. And I thought about them today and I said, Lord, am I putting them apartments in just to have extra money? Or am I putting them in to help people? And I said, no, I'm putting them in to help people because people out here around the lake want to come to the lake and they can't afford a place on the lake. Mm -hmm. I can put a house in that I have ideas of how to build it and it can get their The mom and daddy, like retired, yeah. can live in it comfortable. Right. And then they have two bedrooms upstairs and a bath that the kids, when they come to see them, they can come here and fishing. Yeah. And they can get a place that they can afford and pay off. Right. And know, oh, everybody. Yeah. And that's the idea of my little houses that I have. I have a picture in my mind, like God pictured me putting them apartments in. Yeah, because she has apartments. But Grandma, do you realize the Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish. That's right. But the opposite is true. With vision, you come alive. And the fact that you have vision, that's what's keeping you alive too. You've probably heard me say before that everything begins in your imagination first. That you have to see your dreams on the inside before they ever show up on the outside, right? Well, you could see how grandma was imagining those houses. She sees every detail. You know, she took riding me outside to show us where she envisions those houses. And she was drawing a picture of every room. Well, you need to imagine yourself living your dreams. Imagine weighing your ideal body weight. Like truly imagine stepping on the scales and loving the number you see. Imagine yourself behind the wheel of your dream car. Can you smell the leather? Is the sunroof open? Imagine pulling up to your dream house. Imagine pushing the garage opener and driving into your parking spot. Imagine walking down the aisle in your gorgeous wedding gown, marrying the person God has handpicked for you. Can you imagine it? Now here's the opposite. If you can't imagine it, you'll never have it. See, everything begins in here before it ever shows up out here. So. We've got three tips from Grandma Creech. Number one, get seed in the ground. Give towards your dreams. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Number two, confess God's word. Speak to your dreams. Change what you're saying and you'll change what you're seeing. And number three, never stop dreaming. See your dreams on the inside. You know, I love what Steve Harvey says, if you can see it in your mind, you'll eventually hold it in your hand.
So here's her fourth bonus tip, which is the most important. And wait until the end when I ask her about her social media skills. <laughs> it's decades from now. Let's imagine it's 60 years from now. You have great, 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 great grandchildren. I don't know how many times. And they hear stories about Grandma Creech. How do you want them to remember you? That I was a person that didn't love the Lord and believed in God, and He blessed me. Yes. If they'll just seek Him first, you can't seek Him and say you seek Him, and then you go for money, only money, to do everything that you, the lust of the flesh. You go for money for God to get souls saved. And then God will give you the lust, anything you want, he said, you can have, but you got to put him first. Right. So that's the difference in seeking his face and not his hands. Yeah. Right? Yep. And the fourth tip, seek God first. So let's close out by checking on Grandma Creech's social media skills. How are your social media skills? Are you on Facebook? No. <laughs> no, they're bad. <laughs> are you on Instagram? No. Twitter? No. Nope. Do you use YouTube? No. Nope. <laughs> I barely can do the phone. Let me see your phone. I, I, I can't even do the selfie. Okay. Self Have you ever taken a selfie? A what? Do you know what a selfie is? Uh-uh. <laughs> Where you hold the phone up and you take a picture of yourself? Oh, I did it the other day uh, <laughs> thinking I was trying to cut the thing off and I couldn't cut it off. And I was down and oh, I looked like an old sock. <laughs> And, and you it's, took a picture? It's on there. It's on there. <laughs> okay, so it's good you're not on Facebook because you could have loaded that on Facebook and then everybody would have seen it. <laughs> okay, well, we'll take a selfie in just a minute just so we can have your first selfie, okay? <laughs> I tried to close out the interview and she still wanted to talk vision. I just love that about you, Grandma. Well, I have plans on uh, putting some houses in here and and even maybe it, we need some of these little houses out of Lake Country. Yeah. See, I love it. She's still talking vision. This is where I got it. <laughs> Grandma. If, if I can get you to. So before we close, let me remind you to subscribe because I keep calling it scribe. Subscribe to this channel because we're trying to send a message to YouTube that there's a demand for Christian motivation on this channel. So would you please push the little arrow below and help us get that word out? And thank you so much. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dream. Hey, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.